Hello everybody, welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. In this video, we do the thing I pitched yesterday. The, uh, Dinosaur Park Formation Park. Uh, uh, <laughs> word is not wording. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, the Dinosaur Park Formation Playground. Well, part the Dinosaur Park Formation Park. And in Prehistoric Kingdom, the game based off the uh, paleontology show, Prehistoric Park. Uh, so, yep, that's pretty much it. With Lambiosaurus, Styracosaurus, and, uh, what was the other one? Oh my lord, I can't believe I just disgraced Parasaurolophus. Oh shit. The Hadrosaur gods will be coming for me. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways. Uh, here, just add this bit, I think it was missing from the playground, that the, the two little modules, playing modules, I don't know, two little playgrounds I put in, uh, are in the Steam Workshop, so kudos to the Steam Workshop for these cool little playgrounds. Anyways, here I just do, I do a scale that wasn't inspired by uh, uh, Best in Sloth, Sloth, I don't know, yeah, uh, well, I started watching the uh, Seal of Isis Abandoned Park Habitat, anyways, 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 I uh, had the smaller playground, and uh, I just stopped here, don't know what I was doing, but yesterday there was a tree frog, uh, and I realized I probably should add that to the journal. And uh, here I just try to figure out how to do like a scale wall of the uh, animals in that habitat with like the little peoples. And I don't do it as like a wall. Uh, I do the bear there. I do it on the little fence, you know. Uh, it's so ready to be distracted. So yeah, here it's a bit mm. uh, I'm sorry. very tired and distracted. So yeah, here this is where I start doing the uh, Lambiosaurus and Styracosaurus scale. Lambiosaurus, Parasaurus, Styracosaurus scale thing. But I do move it because it was in the way of the slide, you know. I want kids getting hurt and all that. Uh, I Anyways, here I, I make them colorful because it's kids, and I do the three primary colors. Uh, red, yellow, and blue. Uh, but anyways... Yeah, no, I'm uh, sorry. The reason I was distracted because I was trying to identify the tree frog we saw yesterday to add in my journal, but, uh, no. Uh, was it today? Actually, I don't know. But I saw a tree frog in the last 24 hours, and, uh, yeah, that's it. I just saw a frog, but I couldn't identify it, so I'll just put it in my journal as today. So, anyways, I add the little fence around the park, and uh, I redo it because I didn't like how it looked. And uh, yeah. here I experiment with the fences to figure out what I like the most. I did like the little wood fence, but it and it did fit the vibes and the aesthetic. But I did end up going for this concrete fence. I don't know. I was actually envisioning something uh, that I would see in a park where I would get yelled at for being too old and then exiting the premises via parkour and jumping over the fence and i don't know i don't know i'm just rambling uh but anyways uh here what i do is the fencing and i just realized something i've never actually mentioned the origin of my again my un my new rename uh, he who needs to be silenced. Well, that. Uh, well, if if you want me to go further on that deep dive, I 
will, maybe, get this video to 10 likes, and I will do it. Uh, I probably should check if... I don't know. I should, I'm gonna check my videos to see if something gets like 10 or more likes, and then I'll watch it to see what I promised. Because there's no way in the hell my normal videos will get 10 likes, you know? Because, you know, very, very small creator. Anyways, anyways, I am distracted. So, anyways, I'm saying anyways quite a bit. God damn it. Anyway. <laughs> it, to keep going, here I just had the shelter that the dinosaur will never use. And I think it was been by multiple mosquitoes. I hope it was multiple mosquitoes and not one, because in Brazil there's dengue, which can be lethal. And my arm is a bunch of like little red bumpy spots that are itchy. But each and individual spot is bumpy and itchy. So I hope I'm not gonna die. <laughs> I, I actually think that it's a pretty normal thing to hope for, right? So anyways, here I just do the fence work. I I, I don't know what to say, honestly. Other than today, uh Yesterday, there was uh, a young turkey vulture, <laughs> turkey vulture, I think, could have been another type of vulture, I don't know, but it looked chunkier than a black vulture, and there aren't really any images of young, ye lesser yellow-headed vulture, turkey, young, lesser-headed Young, lesser yellow-headed vultures online, so my guess is young turkey vulture. I was just flying really low and really slow right in front of my window. It was really cool to see. And anyways, here I just add Lambe's lizard. Lambiosaurus Lambe is like... I discover, wow, but this is a cool dinosaur with a funky head. Let me call it Alexandrosaurus Alexandri. Alexander's Liz Alexander's Lizard of Alexander. Anyways, uh, here I mess around with the fences because I didn't know what to do. I do, ooh, I do really like that short fence, but I'm, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back and return to the short fence. And I do like the little grassland vibes, but even though it's another biome. I stopped there for a second, and sorry I'm yawning. I don't know why I'd apologize for a natural function, but it would probably disturb the video, so that's why I'm doing it. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Damn. What is this? Uh, sorry, I get distracted. I'm being distracted by my own skin. Uh. Anyways, here I just do the little. I do a little. A little river. Yes. I do a little river that leads into a swamp, because you know me. And you can say it with me if you want, if you don't, and like in 3, 2, 1, swamps are cool. I said it. Boom. Uh, thing. Cool. Reference. I don't know. Uh, got me on there. I should... I should... I should... I should. I anyways, here I add rocks around the little lake water thingy. And speaking of lake, yesterday we went to the beach, uh, and, uh... It, when we kept walking, there was this little brackish water lake. There were so many fish, but also tons of crabs. My guess is because they were molting. Uh, but lots of them were missing limbs, and saw a dead crab. Well, what was a dead crab? What, what was a crab? And then it was like just the armor pieces and legs like everywhere. Uh, we saw, also saw a big one. Also, there was a little smaller one with like no legs. I could just grab him. He, he would still do the, uh, oh, I'm gonna pitch you, I'm gonna pitch you, head lifting motion. He just went, yo, what's up? You know, you know like when two guys that more or less know each other, like salute each other in, in the hallway, just lift their head real quick? He, he just did that to try to attack me, but because he didn't have any claws, uh, he just rocked his head backwards. It was like, it was kind of scary, but he was harmless. So I just put them in the water and disappeared in the little current because there was like 
the lake to the well brackish water lake to the ocean it's like a little fun river that is fun to sit like on the tiny surfboard we call those boogie boards uh it's just let the current take you so here i add some of the desert grass because honestly dry grass is such a vibe it's really growing on me ow i just bonked my head against the wall and i just realized my job in quotation marks is a uh, game for like an hour and a half or so uh then talk like so much talking <clears throat> which is kind of good uh if you're like me if you're like me and enjoy doing voiceovers but at the same time is tedious in the editing process the voiceover process the thumbnail process speaking of i uh, i don't know if you noticed but i have a new style thumbnail oh, sorry brain just froze anyways here i saw the little yeah oh i know i know it ruined this habitat uh, I'm not there yet, but look, 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 you'll, you'll see, you'll see, you, you won't like it, look, there, this is what I don't like about it, so I might go back and change that off camera, if for tomorrow's next video, you might notice that, you might notice a couple change things about this habitat, but, oh, I just realized I could do a historical section, for human ants. Holy shit, I just realized that they kind of have a fucked up opportunity. For like an April Fools, they could, for April Fools, they could release a DLC. But it's not like new dinosaurs or anything. New dinosaurs or mammals or pterosaurs or anything. No. Human ancestors. Just primitive peoples. That would be kind of fucked up, but funny, right? I don't know. Anyways, uh, you could do a little historical section with those. Uh, palisade walls, spiky, spiky, spikies. But I don't, and the uh, all the pieces. I mean, I, I guess it kind of came with the update. That that's kind of the point of the update. And but yeah, that that could be cool. But that's not gonna, that's not what I'm gonna do. I don't think so. Ugh. And, uh, Jesus, my brain keeps freezing. But at the same time, it is, let me just pull up my phone, because my watch which is on me and the laptop, which is uh, using to edit this, is uh, Canada time. It's 7-9, so I'm tired. I hope you didn't hear that, I just farted. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying it, If I hope you didn't hear it, at least, at least now you know. And that's weird, that's weird, Alexander, shut up, that's weird. So, I add quite a bit of shelters, too many shelters in my opinion. And also, uh, no, I won't mention it yet, because we're not there yet. And, uh, here I just check their dietary requirements. Uh, but anyways, today will be a longer video compared to yesterday, because I spent so much time, like, retouching, being nitpicky with this little habitat and stuff, you know? I don't know why I started talking like that. I can talk. I am allowed to talk like that, I think. I mean, I, you're allowed to talk however you want. I don't know, I'm just rambling. So yeah, here I just save, and I I did start the cinematics, so the cinematics will be weird. The animals will all be clumped together, and uh, uh, yeah, there's two types of cinematics. So, yeah, speaking of, we're almost in the cinematics part of this video. And uh, here I was checking if you could see with the uh, uh, <laughs> the viewing. Oh, it's cinematics. Where, where's my mouse? The crests are made out of bone riddled with hollow tubes, which help amplify that beautiful singing voice of theirs. You're listening 
to the first orchestra on Earth. They didn't use their tube-shaped crest as a snorkel, contrary to previous hypotheses. Nevertheless, I quite like the mental image of a Parasaurolophus going snorkeling. <laughs> The purpose of these gorgeous frills has long vexed paleontologists. Were they primarily for display, temperature regulation, or neck protection? Now that we have one in the flesh, hopefully we can solve this mystery once and for all.